Greetings, everyone. So today I'm on my main account. This is the um, episode that I've been talking about doing. Uh, so the new Ladoga map is out now. This is not very timely. Normally, the, when a new map comes out, I would do this as soon as it drops, right? But it's Christmas week. I've been having a lot of great time with family. So uh, it's just the timing of it. And uh, this is really the first opportunity I've had to spend at least a little bit of time checking out this new place. So um, this is my main account, account. So this is not a leveling guide. This is actually me going to check out um, Ladoga for the first time. The Archipelago, if I'm saying that right. So for many of you, you've already been here. You've been keeping up with it. You've seen everything there is to see. And um, yeah, I hate that I couldn't be a part of that. However, um, I'm getting to do it now. It's just a few days now since it came out, I guess. Uh, by the way, if you are into having premium or purchasing gold, do remember that it looks like they've got a gold and premium sale right now. So that's kind of cool. I guess when this first launched, it was frying some people's AMD graphics cards but it seems like they ended up patching that hopefully that's been solved i don't know if it has or not uh, i don't use amd not that there's anything wrong with amd but i just happen to not have it all right so here's the first boat uh first view for me of this new boat up close um if i understand correctly we um can move around in the boat now uh, at least that's what someone mentioned, so we'll see if that's actually true. Uh, that's the fish market. Yeah, that's the first time I've been here. I'm guessing this is where you buy the boat tickets, maybe? So we know we're going to want... Holy cow! Is that right? It's 400 silver for five days? Wait, is that correct? Let's look at these prices. 250 for three days. Uh, there's not much of a discount. It's actually just kind of the same, right? So I guess we'll just do a one day ticket. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna do two one day tickets. Because if we get into something crazy out there and it goes past a day, that's always my fear with boat tickets. And that's why I would normally get more than you need. But it's never been that expensive, right? Um, let's look at lures real quick. So, all right, l let's not get too caught up in the minutia. Um, I need to get a map. How much is the map going to be? Okay, maybe I'm forgetting, but maps have never cost this much, right? What is going on with this game? Now, hopefully that means there's a lot of silver to be made here with how much some of this little stuff is costing, but I don't know. Is there not a Christmas fair like station here? Um, or is it somewhere else on the map? That is just a like weird looking Coke machine, by the way. And there's the cafe. Looks like old Berg. Bream, is, is there some bodies? Yeah, so one thing I'm curious about, I mean, share whatever you want to share in the comments here. What kind of experiences have you had at this map? Am I going to be able to bottom fish here with any sort of like you know, success. Am I going to feel good about bottom fishing here? Those cafe orders looked very strange at the moment. All right. I think the first thing I want to do is look at the fish that are here. Like I don't even know the species of fish that are here. All right. So Atlantic salmon, that is a big Atlantic salmon. Let's kind of keep track of what people have been using. So obviously we already are thinking snatchers, right? 
I mean, that's pretty cool. I'll have to check that out. What One thing, my idea was, based on the map and the depth, what's some of the like deepest you know, diving lures we have? All right, so we have Atlantic Salmon, Baltic Amul. So there's been some bottom fishing or float. Actually, that looks like float. That's going to be float. That's kind of cool, though. If there's not any decent bottom, if we can at least have a combination of float and spinning, I guess that's better than nothing. Baltic sturgeon. Big boy sturgeon. Balsamino. And the snatcher. So you're saying that's a chance. Um, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I mean, what? A black white fish. Is this like a jumbo shrimp? Again, looks like float and wacky. Bleak, float, blue bream. I'm going to say this is, hopefully this was a call a combination of float and bottom. Bream, got to be bottom. I mean, or, I mean, not that you can't float fish for it, but come on. You know, and this looks like people came out here trying night crawlers. Like, what can we catch? Burbot? You know, what are we going to catch here? Um, by the way, really nice size bream there. Um, burbot. Some nice trophy burbot. I wonder if this was drifting. Like, with the bigger current and stuff, I could see drifting being a thing at night, right? Like, that could be fun. We'll see. Hey, Catfish. Ah, you kind of hate to see it, but you want to see it, but you kind of hate to see it. There's a deep minnow. This is what I'm talking about, like. Wow. All right, char. So that's cool. We've got this invader, but once again, I mean, these two lures, like right off the bat, you think maybe, maybe it's the snatcher and the balsam minnow. All right, so chub, whatever, float. And spinning. Common carp on night crawlers. But very small common carp. I mean, where are their common carp here? That's interesting. Uh, I mean, it's a lake, so, you know, it's, I guess it's not shocking. Common minnow. I'm going to guess most of these have been caught either float or bottom. I mean, they have been either float or bottom. Looks like a combination of both, but that's a bit odd. What are people going for that they're catching common minnows? Maybe they're just trying to catch everything here. All right, roach. So people are catching roaches off catch on either bottom or float. Crucian carp, not that impressive of size. Somebody threw some cottage cheese, some semolina. Dace. All right, nothing super exciting so far. I got to be honest with you. Eel. I mean, this is just looking like a little bit of everything is here to me right now. Gibble carp. Maybe the fishing itself will be more exciting than the species list, at least so far. I mean, we do have a lot. We've still got a few to go. Gray char. I mean, that's cool. Like, you know, it is still Ladoga, I guess. And and looking at the... the, um, the Lures, I'm still feeling these two lures, at least it's like something to start off with. Grayling, okay, fine. I'd, whatever. Off catch stuff, right? Ladoga Lake Whitefish. So they will sometimes go for lures, but another fish that you're catching on float. Wait, Ladoga Salmon. Okay, so. I don't know if we're going to look at the patch notes in detail in this video, but is it correct that Ladoga salmon are basically now our old Atlantic salmon? Somebody let me know. Is that correct? All right. Snatcher, same, same lures. I'm excited to see these and the Atlantic salmon. Ooh, a Ladoga sturgeon. Hey, at least they're not monsters. I mean, they're huge, right? But they're not Whew, guys. We're going to be chasing these. This is where the conventional reels. It's the sturgeon. If they're active at all, that's what's going to justify, maybe justify, throwing down 25K on one of those Cardinal S conventional reels. All right, lake trout. You always want to, I mean, you want to see a lot of fish. If you're out there trolling the deep waters, you want to see a lot of fish you can pull in. So lake trout on the list helps. Another white fish. Now, this one looks like it's responding a little better 
on lures and wacky stuff maybe at least the top of the list isn't the float stuff perch okay I mean some decent sized perch pike big boy pike oh red char all right so we've got grays and reds and regulars once again it is ladoga and there's the ripus i may not be saying that correctly uh looks like they occasionally might go on bottom for nightcrawler but mostly we're seeing these on lures rough smelt what's a severe whitefish we've just got so many different whitefish that's this has got to be why float fishing is a thing here because of all the whitefish and they can be lucrative if it's like ladoga here's a really small three spine stickleback another whitefish i don't even want to count how many whitefish there are it's disgusting there's so many a lot of variety though i don't mind it i'm just saying there's a lot vendus vimba vimba on float that's interesting vendus and oh my goodness Okay, when we said over 40 species of fish, I didn't know that meant like 14 of them were going to be whitefish. Again, I'm not upset. I just, you know, at least some of them are going to be fun surprises while you're spin fishing. But a lot of them, because here's another, a lot of them are going to be finding those really good float spots. I can't wait to see what the community's already learned about this. Like, I have no idea... All right, white bream. I'm assuming that some of these are caught float. Maybe all of them, but possibly somebody's doing some bottom fishing for them. White eye bream. So you've got the full, full scale bream species here, right? Everything. And Xander. I like that Xander's here, honestly. Again, another fish. If you're going to be spin fishing a lot, it's another option. Ooh, it's nighttime. Although I bet that by the time we get things figured out, what we're going to use and how we're going to set them up, it'll be morning. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, so typically my nicest stuff is going to be the casting stuff, right? Rocket jet. Are we okay with 27? Like, is that an okay starting point? Let's see what hook size we have on here. Trouble S4. I guess we'll start with default, but I, I would be willing to bet that some people are increasing the size on these. What are we more likely to get in trouble with? The Snatcher or the Balsa? I feel like the Balsa might have been on more of the Sturgeon list. All right, let's see hook sizes. Three aughts, size two, three aughts. Two odds. Two odds. All right, so that's our first rod set up. What's our second one going to be? This is going to take me a second, guys. I apologize in advance. Yeah, so the question is, yeah, it's not going to be anything down here, right? Steelhead, that's where we have our Pilar. The Minister. There's another Pilar. All right, let's double check spinning rods. Do we ever make our second setup a spinning setup to get that strength? Because our first spin setup, I mean, Well, 
we want to get 27. I mean, I really think that 27 is where we want to be. So that means we could either use, we could do the Evora. Save this for catfishing. So Evora with a Vinga on there. Is that what this world is coming to here? I don't normally use Vingas for anything other than, than sturgeon and like that kind of stuff, but I'm wondering if it might not be justified here. I don't know if I have... Yeah, I do have 27, okay. So we just need some kind of braid that's more than, more than 27, basically. 35 is probably good. It's got a huge spool on it. I just want something that's not worn out. Like something like that. We've got full 300 meters of line there. And this one we're doing the snatcher. I also am thinking like, okay, do we switch this up and, you know, do the switch which one we have on which? Maybe, but I'm not sure. All right, so we're going to want... We're going to want, let me think about this. Okay, this will be in our number one spot. I'm guessing I've got that spinning Evora as a, yeah, here it is. All right, this is our number two spot. We're just going to go out there and start trolling. I think that's the first thing I want to see. It's just what does it feel like trolling out there with the current and everything? What's the boat feel like? Now, in terms of lures, um, are there any new wobblers that got released? It'll have that new icon on it, right? All right, so we've got, we do have several. So look at this deep minnow. These are huge, but do we test one of these? What's the depth here? Oh, that's six. It's only six meters. I mean, we can do better than that, right? Not with this brand. What's the depth here? 3.5, one meter, 1.5 centimeters. Centimeters. What's something that's gonna go deep though? Okay, that goes eight, right? eight meters am i not thinking of something that goes way deeper than that i felt like we had a few things that were actually pretty deep is it always the same on everything yeah once you click in it's the same okay there's some more eight meters it's these like raptors and stuff right that go to the to eight meters i mean i almost you know i think maybe we try there's an eight meter the terminators go eight do we not have anything in the game that goes deeper than that for this map? I guess unless you're unless you're drifting spoons and then you're down at the at the depths, right? Or wacky. Looks like eight meters is as deep as we can go. We don't want top water, we don't want jerk bait. Soft plastic is a consideration, and we also have these new. these new um, wacky varieties, like a big, thick, you know, one of these guys. I, I could see this being something worth trying, but again, I don't think I'm gonna start with, with that as like the first thing we're trying. Okay, so let's look at the, are all these, all these eights, are they all made by the same brand? Atomic, Atomic, I think they are. All right, so let's go to Atomic and let's see the uh, 8888, that's 12 grams, 12 grams, 20 grams, and 21 grams. So it's the Raptor versus the Invader. Why don't we try an Invader? I don't own any of these anyway. Um, 
and maybe we just get the 001. I always am drawn to blue, but that's a personal problem I have. That color looks nice too. All right, let's just try one of these. So in other words, we're putting a big boy lure at as deep as we can troll it. All right, now let's go to our invader. Let's see. Lures invader. And it's this one. All right, we're going to favorite that just so that it's easy to get to. All right, I, I'm sorry I have to do this. Like I've, I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm going to have to take a quick bio break. I'm not going to stop the recording, though, because me and editing videos don't get along. So I'm going to pull the map up. I want to look at this anyway, um, and I will be right back. All right, folks. My eyes have always been drawn when I first saw this map up to this like part of the map up here. Now again, I have no idea what's really been working and not working, but let's just go see if we can catch a few fish and if we can catch enough fish to pay for that ticket we just bought. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good. Wait, do we have to refuel the boat? Like, for real? Oh my goodness, it's a nice boat. Alright, let's see. Can we get out of the... Can we stand up? Um, it's funny. Okay, turn off the engine. Oh, yeah. We can stand up now. We can move around. Uh, just to make sure. Okay, still can't put that in the rod holder. I mean, I figure somebody would have called me if that was possible. <laughs> somebody would have said, hey, M-Dog, guess what? Uh-oh, how do I sit back down? There we go. All right, where are we heading? We kind of want to head out this way. And it's 4.30 in the morning. We'll just start trolling. We'll just start trolling our way. Oh, look, there's some fish on our fish finder. Kind of cool that we've got a fish finder now. Whoa. All right, how are we doing here on our angle? Yeah, this looks about right. So let's turn our engine off for a second here. Retrieval speed. I don't know how far we want our friction brake because I don't know what we're going to run into here. How far is this going to go? That's about right. Happy hour. 
I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's going to be good. Yeah, that went pretty good. Now. We are trolling. Stand up, stop engine, drop anchor, okay? So we are now trolling. I'm going to just glance while we're... We shouldn't have any land or anything. Like, we should just be able to troll. What's over here? Okay, the edge of those other islands. I mean, I wouldn't mind going over there because it looks like that's where camp is. I wouldn't mind going to see what that kind of looks like. I'm really curious because I just have no idea. Is trolling working better or is um, is drifting? You know? Like, I could see it going either way. By the way, first impression, the waves and everything seems very cool. I can feel it, you know? What the heck? That was showing me the audio? Like... Now, I was thinking that perhaps the engine sound had been separated. What? Which, which one of these is new? We've always had general music. Is interface the one that's new? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll have to look at the patch notes to figure out what they did. But if nothing else, the the boat motor on this particular boat, at least, is awesome. I mean, it's quiet, it purrs, it hums. I love it. All right. First fish at the new, at the new lake, huh? And this one is coming in on the balsa. All right, what's our first fish? Xander? Looks like a decent sized Xander. Heck yeah. I'm okay with that. I mean, that's a heck of a start. All right, so th that was still close to the islands. We're not really over any fish right now. We're still trolling, right? But you troll slow with that current and everything. We have not made much progress. Maybe I should go ahead and get us a little bit closer to kind of where I'm thinking we want to spend some time trolling, at least up to here over some of these deeper waters is what I was thinking. But we're not trolling these lures anywhere near the depth of what's below us so in that sense you kind of wonder does going over the deeper areas actually matter again let's just let me just glance really quick i'm just curious like what people okay so this person it looks like is actually trolling around just on the outside like an outside ring around the map around the islands they're just kind of staying out here and um, that's kind of interesting. I think we have a, our second fish on. This is something smaller, though. But with the size fish that are in the water, if they're active at all on... Um, ooh, it's a lake trout. We know those. Uh, if they're active at all, if some of the bigger fish are active at all, I, you know, even though this le the level is supposedly whatever they've got it set at... What was it, 27 or something? Uh you got to have the gear for it or you could get wrecked out here right there's another xander all right so far i kind of like what we're catching through here um so we'll see we still got to catch some more fish to make up for that expensive ticket though all right so this person trolling just west of the major island Kind of up and down just west. Maybe the deeper parts aren't... Ooh, okay. This person's catching stuff down in the southern part. Hmm, interesting. It's such a big map. There's so much water here. Another person that's doing circles around way out on the outside of the island. Another person that's fishing on the west side of the island. What are these people using for lures? Snatcher. And they're catching some nice uh, lake trouts and stuff. 
So I don't know. I guess we'll just experiment. We'll just test out some, some parts of the map. I mean, again, we are not moving very quickly, are we? I do not want to leave that friction brake too high with at least what we could run into here. All right, I'm going to I'm going to go as a little I don't want to go super fast, but a little faster and just get a little bit of distance. This is a big old map in terms of the amount of actual water we have to fish in it's kind of crazy all right so we can go straight from normal speed right back down to trolling speed let's just troll a bit i think i think we're in we've made a little progress oh we're passing some fish and they do seem to be oh look there is some at the bottom too it looks like according to that fish finder oh you can zoom in on it I didn't know you could zoom when you're um, actually in the boat. So let's just hope that the fish finder is functional and not just random or something. How does that work? Because isn't the way this game works that fish don't spawn in until you've got a bait or lure you know, in their area or whatnot? So how does the fish finder work? I might pull up this the the uh, I might pull up the patch notes to see what it's saying about it. Another decent Xander. I mean, if we keep a reasonably good bite rate going, those Xander and everything they are going to add up. I mean, it, you know, it's going to be. 200 300 silver an hour if we can actually consistently catch this these fish it's another one xander the new perch question mark i guess what i'm saying is maybe it's not as much as it hurts to spend a hundred silver on that boat ticket maybe that's okay if you're going to be you know trolling it's a nice boat This does just feel like an open sea map. I mean, how long have we been going? We've got four more squares and we sped up for a while in there, you know? So what a, what it looked like several people have been doing, again, just kind of doing, making this loop just slightly outside of the shallow areas around the islands. That would mean we would start turning here fairly soon if that's what we want to try I wonder what it feels like to use an ultralight you know you get like a, a spinner out there on an ultralight I wonder if that would be crazy or okay Do I try it? I guess, you know, why not, right? Want to see what it's like, and if it, if we get blown up, then we'll know. Um, okay, so we're going to be using this with the pillar. Um, basically, this setup, I just might take a gander to find to pick a lure. Fat perch. Fat old perch. All right, so we want to put our ultralight here, but we want to look and see weekly ultralight records here. Is this just the stuff here? No, that's everything. What am I doing here? What am I thinking about? Oh, because you can only see, that's right, weekly. So we could just put it on this and keep it on ultralight because it hasn't been out more than a week, but that will eventually be an issue. 
All right, so nobody's gotten killed on any. It's all people doing the wacky, right? But we don't want to troll wacky. We want to, oh, here we go. Spinnerbait 005. Okay, we'll try the spinnerbait. Let's see what the weather's like. Sunny right now. So we'll do the 05. Where's that fish? It's so small, I don't know that I can. It's tiny. That's a brave smelt, right? All right, spinnerbait 005. We don't have anything crazy on here. Ooh, we've got a one ot on there. Why would we have a one ot on there? All right, we'll see what happens. I'll take a chance for you. We can always Alt F4, right? <laughs> How about that smelt, though? I'm gonna open the bale for a second. I do want to be able to look at the look at this every once in a while. All right, what do the numbers mean, guys? Is 36 the depth? What's that 55? I mean, 35 could be the depth. Maybe. Why is there a three next to that fish? There's three fish right there or what? It's getting overcast. Might should come off the orange spinnerbait and go to like a silver bronze or something like that. Not scare him away with it. Let's look at our spinnerbait, see if we have any that have smaller hooks on it. Because I, I don't know that we want to be like loading up the loading up the spinnerbait with something huge. What's this quality? All right, so what if we put, um, what if we put a two on there, you know? Spinnerbait 001 with a two hook. Oh, first, first fish. I'm gonna switch it to spinnerbait 001 just to see. A little bit more reasonable size hook. This little Vendus. Little Vendus. Oh wait, was that a big spinner bait that I just hooked up? Yeah, so I don't I guess I don't have a ton of those made. It's starting to rain now too. Alright, we're we're getting there. We're almost to the oh I think does that have a fish on? It could have a fish on fish on for a long time for all I know. Yeah, something tiny. Maybe we're out of the area where the Xander and everything are. Now we're just getting like random, random stuff. I'm not sure. That's, I mean, that's one thing. There is so much real estate to test in this, in this new place. Oh, it's a pike. What are you doing way out here, buddy? Did you get lost? Did you get lost somewhere? Oof. Two hits in a row on the snatcher, by the way. 
let's hope we're not going through a pike a pike pikeville no that's not a pike is that a new fish species for me it is right at the edge of g3 that's pretty by the way that is a pretty fish I approve of this fish. I don't want to cast that as far as I am. Yeah, so right as we crossed into G3 from G4. This is interesting. I like it. I like the engine sound. Can we make the engine sound louder? I mean, I don't, you know. What a weird quinky dink. How deep are we right here? 33, is that accurate? This thing is diving. We need one of those conventional ultralight reels. I really think, guys, and, um, you know, maybe for next video I'll, I'll try it out for you. I think I'm going to buy one of those Cardinal-esque conventional reels. I'm kind of digging this. kind of digging this place, and I've wanted one of those Cardinal-esque conventionals for a long time, and I've really only held off because I couldn't justify it. Here, maybe we can finally justify it. I've got, the, I've got the silver saved up to buy it. And I'm sure we've got a rod we can comfortably put it on. We'll buy one of those huge spools of, of, of line. And we'll just have line for days on that sucker. Oh, please get the fish in. This, uh, you know, it depends on what it is. This might be a uh, U.S. Weekly on the ultralight side. Maybe it's a perch. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm going to try to find time very soon, guys, to uh, stream this game. I've been making videos, but this next week I should be able to carve out a day or two at least to get a nice stream in. And I'm excited about the new content. So we're going to try to do that. Is anything else pulling back here? I think we're good. I mean, it, I think we're going to get this fish in unless we lose it, but it's not running away from us. So I think we're safe. I'm just going to be curious to see like what size is it compared to what it could be. I mean, obviously, you could hit a sturgeon. I guess, theoretically, you could hit a sturgeon on ultralight and just have no chance. But with the other fish, you know, it's wide open. If you can kind of stay behind it. There you go. 3.4 lake trout. That's eh, probably not a weekly. It's not as big as I was hoping. But it did finally come in. All right, let's get back uh, straight here. We do want to... Oh, my goodness. We're headed in that direction? Where's my compass? All right, we want to go something like this. Let's just check, make sure nothing's on. Hey, that was fun though. You know, that was fun. All right, USA Ultralight Weekly Atlantic Salmon. I bet it's like a nine kilo. What'd I say? Eh, 12 is the is the biggest one. Yeah, ours wasn't too far off, honestly. Are there ultralight hijackers? Of course that would be better here because of how deep it is. I didn't even think about that. Ooh, maybe not better. Maybe this is fine. But do I have any of those? That's the real question. Do I have any of those like really light? Ooh, another lake trout. I like it.
I like it. We're on the lake trout out here. We are on the lake trout. Right, I'm gonna cast this back out and then I'm gonna see if I have any of those ultralight. All right, yeah, that's a little loud. I'm gonna, not the engine, the engine's still fine, but just the sound of the line is a little loud. All right. All right, so they have little, uh, I guess I don't have any of them. Are, are there, are there little uh, little wobblers that you can put on ultralight? Or are people cheating and overloading? I thought there were, actually. Yeah, oh yeah, there totally are. Look how light these are. I probably just don't have any of that. Yeah, you can put these invaders on there. That actually probably might be good. That one right there. That one right there might be what we want to do. Why do I see a, a gas symbol? Can we run out of gas? Surely not. We don't have to pay 100 silver for one day of the boat and pay for fuel, do we? Because I'll be griping. It'll be M-Dog griping. Uh, this, is not, this is not what you want to see out here, by the way. not what you want to see. Ooh, hello. Come to Papa. Ooh, I'm going to stop the trolling motor for now. What are we doing out here? What are we even doing out here? We're pike fishing is what we're doing. Why are we pike fishing right now? All right, we're gonna try one of these. We're gonna try one of these guys. I think we're gonna try that exact one that I saw. Um, this one, right? We've got size eight hooks. This is not gonna cast very far, is it? Oh, it's not bad. I actually cast really far. All right. All right, we'll see if this totally kills the bite rate, putting something like this on, on our ultralight. You know, I wonder if you can, instead of trolling, just do regular engine, but go pretty slow and get the same effect. I bet drifting works out here pretty good. It just makes sense, doesn't it? get a little little lower down into the water I bet you can Wasn't there a uh, a new minimum specs released for this water body? All these water effects must take a lot. A lot of power in terms of graphics card or whatever. Processing. But I'm a little confused by that. I mean, does that mean that you have to be careful, like, moving forward? Like, there's some water bodies that you'll be able to go to, but there's some you might not based on what your computer specs are. It's interesting. Why is my friction break at 28?
That looks like one of those Ladogas, right? All right, we're right on track to kind of go through this deeper part, but I'm not sure trolling at this depth, if that's really going to make a difference. All right, first fish on the, on the little guy. I guess I should, um, I should remind myself, uh, there's a smelt one, right? 40 to 80 grams. Okay. Trolling motor is still going, but I think the wind is pushing against us. We're almost not moving. So this can't be like the right. If we turn this way a little more, we should be able to increase our speed slightly at least. Yeah, these waves look awesome. And the wind, I mean, you can really feel the wind. changing your boat's behavior. All right, we're back up to two. Nope, back down to one. All right, I'm going to try increasing the speed a little bit. So it's like we're trolling at a slightly faster speed. Six. I mean, that's about the same speed we were trolling before, but we've got the engine on instead of the trolling motor. The question is, the, does the game recognize that and make it treat it differently than actual trolling. All right, I'm going to put... As soon as I switched it back to trolling, we got a bite. That's weird. Fat perch. Oh yeah, there's my, I knew we had, <laughs> I actually knew that we had a, uh, no, 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 don't start going that fast. I knew we had a compass. My brain just couldn't locate it a second ago when I was looking. Now we've got the wind at our back, but we're still having a hard time. There we go. At least we hit three. Now we're between two and three kilometers per hour trolling. Yeah, I will not be surprised if, um, if drifting ends up working like almost as well as trolling, but I could be wrong. We haven't caught much in a while though. And, and again, it looked like so far, some of the success people have had has sort of been this wide lap around or 
stick in over here somewhere, kind of on the western side. I, I don't know. But there's a lot we haven't figured out here yet, although people have figured out, obviously, lots, a lot more than I have since I haven't fished here yet. What is... The wind is just... The wind is killer right now. The wind is definitely changing what we're able to do. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm excited about trying out that Cardinal S, if that's what I end up think, deciding to do, though. That sounds fun. Because then we can use bait casting setups on both sides. We'll just use this one, and instead of this setup with the Venga, we'll use the Cardinal S. I still don't know if I would troll three three lines. I guess that's the other option is we could hold however we set it up, like whatever the strongest setup is, we could hold it and troll with three. Maybe that's the maybe that's the other option. Okay. I mean, we're, at times at least, we're not doing much more than drifting right now. Woo. Yes. Let's get back on the fish. What's this saying? Nothing. But they're here. There's so much I just don't know yet. Like there's so many new little changes, little pieces of information that we have with this most recent update. Got some good fishing going on. That's all I know. It's been fun. I just want to see <laughs> At the end of this first experimental journey out into the wild, I want to see an amount of silver that we make that is more than we spent on the one boat ticket. That's my goal here. That's, that's the goal. Oh yeah, there was a lure we were going to try. What do we feel like has been catching the better fish? Maybe this overall? I'm not sure though. I think the balsam minnow maybe, but I could be wrong. That's two in a row for Snatcher. Balsam minnow, balsam minnow. I mean, it's been close. Maybe balsa, but it's it's close. It's very close. All right, we're almost at an hour on the video, so we need to. We do need to wrap this up pretty soon. Okay. I don't know. I might be disappointed on the silver amount. We'll see. Is this 100 silver? Probably. But I, it might not be. It depends on what prices are like. There's a lot of people catching these fish here right now. Does that affect the what the market's going to pay for them? How about that fish cafe, though? It must just be an unlucky time that I'm looking at the fish cafe literally look like what you would see at Old Berg. All right, we're coming towards these islands very slowly. I just wanted to like check out where camp is maybe. Just real quick. Probably ought to I think that might be a fish on there. Like another smelt, maybe? Nope. 
All right, just while we have a minute, let's try that. Um, let's try that big fat. Hold on, let me think about this. What was it? What was it that we got? Didn't we get something big that we were going to try? And I favorited it, right? Maybe it was one of the eight meter. Oh, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, um, it was this. That is a big old lure. But it goes pretty deep. That's why I was thinking we would try it. Especially while we're out in the dark, the deeper area still. This rain is um, pretty miserable. So would we put the, we'd put the cardinal, I guess it doesn't really matter. That gives us casting distance. This is all the fun bonuses. We'd probably throw the cardinal on this and move the rocket jet over to this. If we get the cardinal. I need to look and or just remember what the the uh, max drag is on the Cardinal. I think it's pretty legit. It costs about 25k if I remember correctly. I don't know what the stores are here. Is this expensive store or cheap store at this place? We haven't had a fish in a while. We might be in a spot that's just not very good. We're showing some fish up shallow, some small fries. So yeah, is anybody using uh, conventionals out here? What have you thought about them? Is there is there a viable option other than the Cardinal S that somebody would recommend instead of Cardinal S? I mean, I think other than going with the very top of the line, at least to me, the Cardinal S kind of stood out as like a middle middle of the line middle of the road conventional. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we're not catching anything out here, by the way. I feel like at least out here, this is uh, this is no bueno. Uh, at least small fish. This spiker will usually slay stuff, but we'll see. Looks like balsa is going off again.
I mean, I can't complain. First time out, we've gotten to see. So far, at least for us, the big three is has been you know Xander Lake Trout and then the new Ladoga Salmon. We've had some weird pike and stuff, but I mean that's the main three that I think we're gonna sort of remember from this little journey we've been on today. Yeah, so that caught a Vendus. I mean, that's kind of what you're thinking, like that this little spinnerbait might catch you some smaller, smaller fish. A little spiker. So far, nothing on the big boy lure we put out there. I mean, I think maybe next time I might try the eight meter one again, but try a, a one that's not quite so big. You know, almost always you'll have better success on not the heaviest of lures. Um, I wonder, are there any of those lures that, that, that are exclusive to Tunguska that, that have any like deeper diving ability? I don't think I have many of them actually. Um, yeah, I've got this, but that's just 2.5. I guess I do have a few of them, but this just goes from 2 to 3.5, so maybe none of them are very deep. It's getting late. All right. Let's go see what camp looks like, even if we just see it from the boat. Camp's right over here, it looks like. The wind has calmed down dramatically from what it was earlier. I think if I was doing this another day, I would probably try that sort of staying just on the outskirts of the islands and see how that felt. Might be a little more steady bite throughout the day. All right, this is the island that has camp, right? Yeah. You must be able to get on on the other side of it or something. This is really dangerous, by the way, just keeping your... I think I'm going to reel it in, especially with this heavier one. Nothing but trouble could happen to us right now doing that. Very few good things, but possibly some troubling things. Okay, it looks like eh, maybe you could get off right there. I mean, I don't know. It must be on the campsite there. It must get really low or something. Yeah, I can get off the boat right here. Okay. And camp's up there. I'm going to assume there's no, like, secrets at camp that I need to know about. Let's just head back. Let's see what the fishing actually was like in terms of in terms of silver. I love this new boat. Oh, this is so cool. Such a cool boat. It's a step in the right direction to one day having our own boats that we can customize and all that, but this is really cool. The map looks great. I mean, most of what you're looking at, of course, on this map is, is just simply water and sky. But for what it is, I think the graphics and everything on this map look terrific. That's cool. It's a big map. <laughs> I, I'm not good with like, I, I'd be curious to find out, but it wouldn't shock me 
if somebody, you know, verified that this is the largest map they've ever made. Just because of how long we were able to ride in one direction, and that and the whole map is, you know what I mean? Like, we've got some other big maps. Amber's big. Amber's very big. Octuba is really big. But I wouldn't be shocked if somebody said, no, this is actually the largest map yet. I don't know. I, again, I'm not good at making those, like, mental measurements, but... Oh, look at all the fish. So there are a lot of fish in here, probably. Because all the small stuff's going to be in here. And then some of the big stuff probably is, too. Um, and if there's going to be any good bottom fishing, obviously it's going to be around here somewhere. And then float fishing, I just don't know. I'm really curious, like, are people just float fishing all the dock? Or oh, where are they float fishing at? Can I not get off right here? Oh, I hate to say it, guys. I hate to say it, but I'll be right back. Cannot be drinking that much water right before I sit down to record a video. So I'm assuming I could back in maybe and get off. Whoa. All right, there we go. All right, so here's the fish market, right? 223, that's fantastic. For our first time out, look at these pike. That's fantastic. I'm still not like thrilled with how much it costs for the boat. But if you're pretty much getting, you know, trips like that, if my first trip out not knowing anything other than looking at some lures off the, uh, Ooh, that's a question that we have to find out. 18.27. Just looking at some lures off the weeklies list. Was it this one? 13.6. Is that the right one? I think it's slightly better cafe, but not by much. Weird cafe right now. So we ended up with like 231, 231. All right, what do I know the price of that I can compare real quick? Oh, the starter set. Ah, uh, this place is a little expensive, right? Isn't it 149? All right, where's that one that, I, that I'm thinking I want? It's the Cardinal. I think it's the 20S. Why was this the one I wanted?
for some reason I wanted the 20s. I'll have to, oh, the test. So with this one, we've got the two, two gears, right? Where you can get one without, you can get it without the second gear. Um, line capacity, I mean, we can get crazy line capacity. Trophy, sea trophy fishing, power fishing. I'll have to do some research. I have to look a little more closely, but yeah, it looks like this place is slightly more expensive, right? Unless prices have gone up on stuff. Anyway, as always, thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. I just can't wait to spend some time with you folks and also hear what you're thinking of the new place. I think overall, the little bit I've been hearing from people has been pretty positive. I think folks are enjoying themselves and I certainly had a really good time my first out, uh, my first time out. So um, I hope you are having fun. If you're fishing here, let me know what's working, what you're uh, enjoying doing. Has anybody done any bottom or, or float fishing yet? Uh, definitely got some stuff to figure out along those lines. But uh, as always, thanks for being here and I will see you next time. Tight lines. <laughs>